The styling and profiling in the locker room after a huge win. And you guys are 2-0. and Talk about today's win and the way you guys did it with the defense out there. Uh, shoot, pressure, mixing up the calls. And um, appreciate the shirt, Taylor. <laughs> no, pressure, uh, pressure, uh, clamping up, clamping in the back end, and uh, mixing up the coverages was uh, the key to our success today. And for you personally, a career high, two interceptions. Yeah. You're getting shout outs in the locker room as guys walk by. Uh, how good did it feel for you to go out there and make a statement yourself with that career high and two picks? I mean, it definitely feels good. That was one of the things that I wanted to work on this offseason. One of the things the coaches wanted me to improve on is just make more impact plays, more turnovers, just the things to get our offense the ball back. So I was definitely happy I was able to get two. And I actually, actually left like one or two out there, you know, had one in the back of the end zone when I broke up with Julio. Should have probably brought that one down. But, you know, I'll learn from my mistakes and uh, continue to get better. And the Falcons, the best offense in the NFL last week. They come in here less than 250 yards passing. Mm -hmm. What kind of pride does this defense take in that and these quote-unquote old corners you have on this team? Oh, man, they all, I mean, I just, one day I, want, I just want to be like them, you know, when I go uh, further in my career. But um, just as a defense, I mean, we want every team to earn everything they get. You know, like last week the Baltimore Ravens threw for, it was like, 390 or something like that, but before that big catch, you know, it was like three yards a catch, you know what I'm saying? So that's those are the things that guys got to catch balls in this league. You just want to tackle them right away, and we dictate what, what catches you get. And if we do that, it's going to be hard for a lot of teams to win. And now 10 regular season home victories in a row here at Paul Brown Stadium. That yeah. ties a franchise record. Yeah. How tough is it for other teams to come in here, George, and win at Paul Brown Stadium? Um, you got to ask the other team, but – in general, we want to make it tough for every team to win, whether it's here or on the road. But it was definitely a, a focus point this offseason, continuing to protect our home field like we did last year. Um, you, win, you win all your home games and go half on the away games. Most of the times you make the playoffs. So um, that's always our, so to say, our, like, our blueprint in terms of things we want to accomplish during the season. So we just want to continue to uh, get better, keep practicing, and continue to defend our home. The way you've won these first two games, winning in Baltimore in division and then beating Atlanta here today at home, the way you did it, does this season feel different than the last three years to you? No, I mean, I, I only played last year, like my first year playing, but I would say, I mean, same team, man, same guys. Obviously, we're 2-0 this year, so that's different, but it's too early in the year to start saying how this season feels. I mean, this season hasn't took shape. We haven't hit our bye week yet. We haven't hit – you know, all the other division opponents. So it's, it's still too early, you know. Um, November, December, and January, hopefully that's when uh, how you dictate how the season, you know, was or the feeling of the season. All right. Thanks, George. Thank you for having me. <laughs>